Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to talk about why I think Fantastical is the best calendar app on the App Store. So the biggest challenge when picking out a calendar app is that they all have different preferences in mind. Some of them have a really detailed month view and others go more detailed into weeks and days. Some like to give you as much information as possible and others like to keep it really simple. So there's two main options for viewing the calendar in Fantastical. There's portrait mode and landscape mode. Landscape mode shows you basically a week view of your calendar with each day stacked alongside each other. And then the month view shows you your entire calendar and then a list of all of your events down below it. You can also pull down on the portrait view and switch it to more of a week view at the top instead of the full calendar if you prefer that. Other than that, you're pretty much stuck with what Fantastical gives you. Most people seem to be okay with it. I have conflicting opinions. I think it gives you a lot of the information I like to see, but it's it's definitely not beautiful. The bright red is not really working for me. And although it does let you switch between a light and a dark view, it doesn't let you do anything about that or customize the app icon. So the biggest reason I use Fantastical, and the one reason I don't think I could ever switch back, is natural language recognition. So basically you can just type information into the event field like you would have a conversation with somebody and it will try to fill in all the information. So for example, you can say lunch at Starbucks from 10 to 11 and it'll try to fill in the date and the location. Unfortunately, when it adds that location in, it won't be like a geotag location, so you won't be able to get directions to that. It'll just be a label down at the bottom there. You can, of course, go in and edit it and add actual addresses in, which will let you get directions to them, but it won't do that automatically on its own, no matter how many times you add the same location. Overall, though, the natural language recognition works great. It makes entering events a lot easier and a lot faster, plus it's just really entertaining to watch it try to fill it in. Most of the time it works perfectly fine, and I really appreciate having it. It also fully supports reminders, both creating and viewing them. On the topic of iOS integration, it also pulls all of your calendars in basically from the stock calendar app, which means almost any calendar you have in there will show right up in Fantastical. It also works great on macOS, which we'll get to in just a minute, and it has a really nice Apple Watch app and a really nice widget, both of which are very configurable and both of which can show you information right at a glance. Plus, it has 3D touch compatibility, which is a real bonus for me. Both the widgets on the Apple Watch and on the iPhone, you can basically adjust every aspect of it and what information is shown, and it makes it so you really don't have to open the app unless you're creating reminders or events, which is really, really nice. Then there's just some small details like a number row above the keyboard when you're entering in events and the ability to change the badge on the app icon to either be the date or a number of events or reminders or anything you would like. But it's not perfect, there are a few small things that bother me about this app. First of all, I'd love to see some sort of drive time and weather forecast option. So basically if you click on an event, it will show you how long it'll take you to get there and what the weather's gonna be like. I've seen this in other calendar apps and it makes it a lot more usable and a lot more informational. A more specific complaint I have is you can't add multiple days on a repeating event. So basically like for my class schedule, I can't add Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes all at once. I have They each have to be their own event. Lastly, I have to complain about the price. I don't have any problem with paying $5 for a really well put together iOS app, but $50 for the Mac Companion app is really expensive. Like, I'm sure it's a great app. I haven't actually tried it, but I, I find it hard to justify $50 for a calendar app, and I'm probably going to use the iOS one more often than not. I still prefer it over a subscription model, and someday I'll probably bite the bullet when it goes on sale. That being said, if anyone over at Fantastica would like to send me out a copy to review, That'd be pretty cool. So in the end, Fantastical isn't perfect, but it's so much better than anything else I have found, and I really can't recommend it enough. The natural language recognition is a huge time saver, the interface makes it really easy to see what's coming up next, and the accompanying widget is really, really convenient. If you really want to stay organized, I don't think you'll regret spending the $4.99. $50 on the other hand, eh. Anyway, today's question of the day is what calendar app do you use? Let me know by tapping the I, and don't forget I post new videos every single week, so I'd definitely like to see you back next week. But until then, 